Good morning everyone from Lagoon here in Farmington, Utah. We are here for a very exciting day. We're gonna go ride their newest roller coaster, Primordial. Well, okay, I get to ride Primordial and Wicked. That's true. Wicked was the open last time That's right, this is only your second time here. Yeah, yeah, so the first time was, I don't even know, what has been like two? Two or three years. Three years, that was yeah. like for our first like early on like adventures. So, yeah. yeah, it's been a long well, time. And that was, I, I think I went like once or twice after that, but I mean, I, I had a season pass here for years yeah. and years. And so it's been a while since I've been here, but like I watched them do like construction from 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and it yeah. still wasn't done. And here we are, here we and it are. just opened like maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, so. I remember really liking this park. Like I obviously I loved Cannibal. Like I remember really liking that. I think so. we're gonna do Primordial first. So if you go ahead and spin the camera. We are literally here at Rope Drop. So the park opens formally in 10, maybe 15 minutes. 17 minutes. minutes. 17 minutes. <laughs> so once they do that, we are gonna book it to Primordial, which is right down there. So we're like two minutes away from Rope Drop and the security guard says, there's no need to run because Primordial's on a three to four hour delay right now. <laughs> I'm laughing because of just like how unlucky that is. I'm we like, wouldn't wow. have even come at Rope Drop if we had known no. that. Like, it's literally 10 a.m. right now, so like at this point it'll be open by like one or two. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I guess we're gonna fill our time with uh, other things. I, I guess we're going to Cannibal then. <laughs> well, I think we found out why it's on a three and four hour delay. It Valley. Oh my God. That's not good. First ride of the day, not the ride we want it to be, but you know, it's still like second best ride here. Actually, no, it will be the best ride here. It's probably here. still the best. It's ride. probably still the best. That's so spooky. Well, such a cool start to a ride. It, it really is. Oh my gosh. And a great view of the interstate. This is a ride that still jolts me a little bit. Well, yeah, it's one of the <laughs> steepest drops in the world. The thing is that Shell Razor has a steeper drop, but this takes it from flat track where Shell Razor you're in an angle. So yep. this feels like a steeper mm -hmm. drop. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my God! Oh my God! And it's flat bars only. Again, oh, shell razor. Again, that has oh, over the shoulders. Whoa. So demented. Oh. Ah! <laughs> the hang time there is crazy. <laughs> Freaks me out. Oh. I, I survived the human sacrifice. I forgot it actually pulls some decent forces there on the uh, helix at the end. Yeah, it really does. That woke me up. But yeah. Pretty, pretty Good. Oh, for sure. So even though it valued, we're coming over here to just check it out. So here's our entrance sign. It is literally right next to Rocket. And they kind of built its own dedicated pathway here. It looks like you can still go inside. Also, uh, that is giving big Lost Island vibes. That, like, oh, man. this, this hut? Yeah. yeah, such Lost Island. Oh, you know what? This is the old Honolulu hot dog stand. It used to be right over there. So they just moved it. There's also an entire Coke stand. They put up some picnic tables and a lot of temporary queue. Now this is the theming I like seeing. Look at the benches and the trash cans. They really went the extra mile here. <laughs> We're gonna do a rare model next. Jetstar 2, a classic Schwarzkopf that- It's giving Zambezi Zinger. They don't make them like they used to. Can you like, no, move. And literally the ride vehicle right after us gets stopped on the lift. 
That could have been us! Sarah wanted to do Wicked, so we're going over to the other side of the park via Skyride. Whoa, what happened here? What are they doing here? Are they a restaurant? Oh, wait! This was something that burned down, I think. There was a fire. From one Schwarzkopf to another. This one is going to be a bit more intense. Colossus the Fire Dragon. Got those two awesome vertical loops back to back. Whee! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <sighs> we are literally like inches from the ground, actually. Yeah. One feature I really like on this is this like knee padding. Oh. Because I was like sliding into it at the end and I was like bracing myself as if I was gonna hurt, but it's like, oh, it's like squishy. Yeah. That's like a cool feature. I oh, like it, it is nice. And it's all, we're getting really lucky with the crowd so far. Uh, there's like, no one here. We just walked onto this thing, which is which I'm is good. Mad. Like this thing doesn't usually get that long a line, but like up next is Wicked, and that does get a long line. But I bet today it's pretty fine. It's literally a stairway wait. How often is this filled, and the line stretches all the way down and around? But today, oh yeah, there's like no one here. Hey, here we are. You're finally riding it. I know. A couple of years playing, late. I know. He keeps saying, "Oh, it's so." I know, I've ridden this a ton of times. I know, but I've only been here once today. I don't know why it wasn't uh, open. Oh, ready? Oh, ready? Oh, ready? Oh, ready? Oh, 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 vertical oh, launch. Oh, oh my, wow. Woo! That's a feeling. Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I lost my head. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Woo! Alright. Pretty cool first half, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how the second half stacks up. <laughs> Not as good, that's okay. <laughs> you lost a hat? I lost a hat. Oh no! Make sure you lose articles, kids. Yes. Um the first half that's really good. I I don't think I realized that it launched you like yeah. Like I knew it launched you vertically, but I didn't know it was gonna start in that tunnel really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I definitely went Uh the first half is good, the second half is stupid and it's bad. The profiling, the way the train goes around the track, it's terrible. Yeah, but the first half was way way. Yes. Yeah. Alright, we're back over here to check up on it, and they've made some good progress. So it valued over there and now it's up here. So as you can see they're trying to get it like up to where the lift is and then they're gonna re-release it so it can make it through that helix. So we're hearing it's going to be another two to three hours before Primordial opens, and so we are doing Dracula's Castle. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is nothing. Where's it? Is that a gorilla? Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. I like that effect. All right, so let's contrast. We just did the two <laughs> classic dark rides, Dracula's Castle and then Terror Ride. I don't think I did that one last time. But you did Dracula's Castle. Yeah. So you got one of them. Terror Ride went, no, but uh, that one I definitely screamed twice. On Terror Lally. Ride, yeah. Yep. It's much uh, more modern. I feel like uh, the sets are a lot better. I also like the old classic feel of the Dracula's Castle. Like, they're both fun. I say do both. Now we're gonna ride the most creatively named coaster in the park. Roller coaster. Yay. Here we are on this hundred year old wind roller coaster. A true classic. I'm excited. One of the oldest roller coasters in the world. So this has the best airtime in the park, in That's my opinion. Crazy. You ready for this? Oh, oh someone just lost a hat. Yeah, that, that thing is well taken care of, for sure. That ride is 
packed up airtime. That packed. is an impression of this patch. They're already like partially oh, up the lift table. The operations here at Lagoon are insane. Yeah, they dispatched that train before we hit the brake run. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. Lagoon is very much an amusement park, but this part of Lagoon is very much from a theme park. It's giving Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Yeah, a little bit, right? Or well, like a Euro lot of it. Europa Park. Yeah, I can see it. Like a big German Anywhere with town. a Germany section, honestly. Yes, anything with the Germany section. I mean, look at this stuff. Look at the size of this burger. That is actually unbelievable. There was like a moment where I thought about ordering this for myself, and now that it's presented in front of me, I am so thankful that I didn't do that. And that we're sharing it. That is... Yes, this is a shareable burger. If you get the 1886 burger here in the beer garden, it is absolutely enormous. So we're over here where the old kitty bumper car ride is that caught on fire. And you can see that they are going to replace it with a carousel candy. So really nice uh, dessert store. I'm sure it's going to be like way better than what was here before. Because uh, as I remember, that attraction was pretty old and not that great. Still a long ways to go. My guess is that's what's going to be the big new thing for next year. So we went to go check on Primordial, and this is now the line, everyone queuing up for when it will eventually open. I'm like, kinda upset. Like, we got here really early so we could be first ones in line so we wouldn't have to deal with the crazy long line. Now, we're all the way back here, even though the ride is all the way down there. And, and, and keep in mind, the ride has not opened yet. So, it still might not be opening for another hour, or it could open in five minutes, who knows. After an hour of waiting in line, Primordial has finally opened for the day. It's 3.30 and How it's just now opening. is this going to be though? That's I'm, I'm scared. Honestly, I'm just glad it opened. Like, this easily could... I am so impressed at the speed that they were able to unvalley the train? I feel like a lot of parks would have just called it. Been like, no, it's done for the day. But they literally managed, like within, we're talking about five hours, like get it back up to the top, it. cycle it through, and they're like, yes, it's good for guests. From what we've been told, uh, this is only the third time ever that the coaster has valleyed. Because uh, it did valley during testing, I think it valleyed one other time. So I think it's just wind sensitive. Wind or cold? So if you're coming here when it's cold, I'd say beware. Yeah. Like, I, I think this thing is sensitive to it. We always complain about Lagoon not having enough queue space. Well, they have designated queue here. It's temporary, but it's better than nothing. There we go. There's riders on it. That's awesome. Thank goodness. Look at this. They're making a decree. Well, I think it's telling the story. We're saving a kingdom from an army, an evil army. So, um, there's a full, like, animatronic here. I was not expecting a cat. Yeah, it's a big cat. I definitely, like, was expecting a dragon or something if we did get an animatronic. We got a cat, though. I really like her. Yeah, she's fun. I think she's trying to tell us the story. Something about we have to go save a kingdom or protect a guardian or she's Always the guardian. Always a mission. Always making me do stuff. So we just put our stuff in the lockers, which are double-sided, which is awesome. They are to bring that here for Lagoon. Woo! Baby, that's it's a loud lift up. Um, so they have lockers available for larger items. Like I have a backpack that didn't fit in a smaller locker. So you go through, you enter your birth date, you select an emoji and a color, and then it just opens a random locker. You can't select whether you want a large locker or a small locker. So they definitely should get that fixed because someone had to literally come over and manually open one of the larger lockers and they couldn't see whether there were items in them or not. So like she's opening up some of the larger items, some of the larger lockers, and there's things in there. And so then close it, all right, let's go find one that's actually open. It was just like a hassle. So hopefully they're able to fix that for the future. So it's not currently on yet, but this is where our waterfall is going to go. You can see this is going to be where the pool of water will dump out into. It's going to cascade down under the lift. Do you see all the animal faces and stuff? Whoa. Like carved into it. Oh, wow. That's really subtle. Yeah, there's like a full frog right there. Some show elements may be undergoing fine tuning. Technical rehearsal. Is well, essentially, what's yeah. going on. We'll see if that ends up uh, feeling like that during the ride experience. They group you here on these dots and they give you 3D glasses. You're going to wear them during the ride experience. Here's your rider requirements. If you're under 48 inches, you must be accompanied by a companion. If you're under 36, you may not ride. But if you are 36 or over, you can ride. That's crazy. That's a lower height requirement than. 
I think every roller coaster at Disney except for Barnstormer. That's wildly impressive. 36 inches. Yeah, and check this out. They're actually starting. Yeah, they're sideways. And it's a moving loading platform. Wow, look at the station. This is beautiful. There's your look at the restraints. And there's a gun attached to them so you can shoot during the ride. Devin really liked it. All right, we just got off our first ever ride on Primordial. There, you can see uh, some of the outdoor section right there. Which is not much of it. Not much of it, yeah. It's like a four and a half minute long experience, and the majority of the ride is inside, and it's highly themed. Yeah, so it's like you're rescuing like two protectors of this like imaginary kingdom by like shooting down the bad guys, to, like free the good guys kind of thing. Lots of zombies, some dragons. Yeah, so. I liked most things about this ride, so I'll start with the stuff that I didn't love. Okay. Um, I wish there was more narration, actually. They talked a lot during, obviously, the pre-show, explaining things, but I would have loved if you had, like, a guide who was with you, because it said you were gonna have a guide with you, so it would've been cool to hear them talk and explain what you were seeing and what you were supposed to shoot at. I mean, it was kind of obvious, you're like, okay, yeah. spider, probably bad guy. <laughs> Skeleton, probably bad guy. Yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. you use your, like, you know, critical thinking. But something but. like, quick, oh, get out of there, you know, like some, yeah. some things like that to help kind of further the story along. Instead yeah. where it's a video game and it's like, all right, we're just gliding along these screens and you're just shooting stuff. Yeah, the other thing I didn't like is that my gun kept getting stuck down in a downward facing position and it was hard, like every once in a while I couldn't get it to come back up. Okay. Uh, so I was like, that's the only reason I lost. Oh yeah, yeah I'm I, sure. that is the only reason. Otherwise, I would have won. It is uh, a very yeah. interesting system because they combined a lot of different types of rides. You know what it reminds into me one. of? Yeah, Gringotts. Gringotts. It reminds I me see of Gringotts it. a lot because while it is on paper, it is a roller coaster. Other than what you're looking at right here, there's not much roller coaster. There's some like kind of tricks where you like roll backward or where you like fall forward and stuff like that, and it's very. Gringotsy, right? Yes. Like, that's what it made me think of, like the tilts and the, the tilt track. You have vehicles that can move in 360 degree motion, but it's a controlled rotation. It doesn't spin. It's very purposeful every time you change direction. So there's a backward section. But it does not feel the way Guardians does. No, no, it no, no. It's a purposeful rotation. It's not the same thing because we described that the yeah. same way. Because most of the time here, it's rotating to face a screen or or point you towards something. It's not like moving fast while rotating. Yeah. I think that it worked pretty well. Uh, there are multiple sections with large screens. The last room in particular is a huge screen where you're wrapping around while it's rotating and that's where you get three different endings. So we knew there were multiple endings, we didn't know what they were. So here's the ending we got is a frontward tilt drop. So you kind of like duck down and go down real quick and, and you're down now on a lower level. It reminded me of like if you took like a tiny little portion of demon drop because it's not like a regular like drop forward where you're like facing this way. You're like drop almost like down it's, and that way. It's like, a tilt I don't know section. how to explain it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've never really felt anything quite like it's that. It's a very weird sensation. So the other two endings. We were talking to some locals and they explained that you can get just a traditional drop track. Which is apparently a huge job track, like big one. Feet. Yeah. Or you can do what we did, but backwards. So you tilt backwards and then drop. There's a lot of rewritability here. I can also see how it could go down often. Yeah, there's which a lot weird, of moving because, parts. Because the thing that ended up happening is the, the thing I would last expect, which was a valley. All the effects were working. I mean, there was a lot of fog. All the screens seemed like pretty good. I think Triotech did the screen portion of it. The screen um, the looked really good. Yeah, they did look nice. I was overall like, really impressed although i was a little caught off guard that the last moment was the the drop like i don't know if i expected something else to come afterwards i think i did because then it, it showed like all right you are a knight you did pretty good and i was like i was a knight. oh that's the end of the ride so i did expect like there to be like one more scene which is weird because it's already a long ride but I think going into it, I knew it was gonna be long. So I was like, oh, that's the ending when it stopped, you know? Yeah, it still was pretty long though. It is. I would say overall, it's, it's a really good ride. Um, I don't know if I would wait like two and a half hours and so for it. If it was my first ride, yeah, but like, yeah, but it's really, really, really awesome. It's definitely the most impressive thing at this park. 
Yeah, it's so well themed. It feels like a Disney attraction or a universal attraction, but it's at a regional theme park. And from what we understand, it has a budget that's right up there as one of the world's most expensive roller coasters. Yeah. So, I mean, you put that together with the fact that it's uh, combining technology that we've never seen combined in this way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's something that you should come out and experience. Of course, the gift shop. Lots of stuff with the logo on it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this it doesn't need to be anything complicated. Just put the logo and it looks nice. Here we are, back in line for Primordial. So, we're currently at the end. And the estimated wait time is about an hour, 45 minutes. They said it's going to be probably over two. So, I mean, we'll see. But we're trying to get one of the other endings. And the line closes to the public in like 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. So, we will probably get, we might get the same one. We might, but we, the odds are in our favor for a different one. So at this point in time, they've closed off the line to guests, and you can see it's getting dark. That's where the line is currently at, just in the last switchback. Uh, we're currently at the 35 minute mark in line. Probably gonna be around what they said. They said like an hour. Well, they originally told me over two hours, but I don't think it's gonna be over I think it'll hours. be like an hour, 15 minutes, maybe. Like, yeah, I guess at least an hour, 30. We'll see. I don't know if the camera can pick up on this, but it is raining now, so just what we wanted. Luckily, that's where it goes indoors, so we're almost out. And here we are, we got our glasses. The timer has ended. We are at the station, and it has been an hour and 23 minutes. So, I think that means I won. Yes, you were closer than I was. But did anyone really win having to wait an hour and a half in the rain? Take two, we're trying the second car this time. Yay, at least it's Go. not raining now. I know, it's not raining, thankfully. I wish there was stuff to shoot right now. Yeah, that would be cool. Whoa! <laughs> I actually pulled some decent forces. It does, it's not bad. Oh, oh it's so warm in it here. It feels so nice. Woo! <laughs> oh, the, the smell of the fog. Well, not the ending we wanted, but we did get two rides in on it. <laughs> so that's great. Unfortunately, we got the same exact one. We talked uh, to some locals and they said that their favorite is the drop track because it's the biggest drop track. In the world, I think? Yeah, uh, apparently that's what they're saying. But so, we did not get to do it and I'm very sad. I'm so bummed. And then the backwards slide like sounds so cool. Like I fully anticipated when we got to the last room that something different was gonna happen and then the same thing happened. I'm like, look, it's such a cool sensation. Like when we first got off, I was like, I've never experienced a sensation like that before. It is so really cool. it's awesome, but like but we can't. Yeah, we came to, all the way here from Florida. We, it's like a little bit of a bummer because like had it opened in the morning, we probably would have ridden it like four times and the odds of us having gotten a different one are yeah. a lot higher. So I mean obviously you can't control it. Yeah, the line is so long. Here's my request to Lagoon. If anyone from Lagoon sees this, <laughs> add a single rider line. Are there are a lot Cannibal of has one, Wicked has one, Primordial needs one. You have eight riders per train. And we watch so many vehicles send out, you know, where there's rows that have three people in them and there's just an empty seat right there that 
Like, that would have made things so much easier. Yeah, because we probably would have ridden a couple more. Yeah, and they don't allow single riders at all. Like, because we asked just a shot in the dark. Like, like, hey, can we fill? What, what are the odds we fill an empty seat? And they're like, sorry, like, can't do that. Like, you know, if that's their policy, fine. But I feel like that should be offered. I feel like it's a huge miss not having that with a ride that has like again like it's not a low capacity ride because like yeah you can only have eight per train but there's how many going at once they're sending a lot like as soon as one uh exits or enters the mountain then they're sending the next one up the lift yeah uh, it's a continuously moving platform so mm -hmm. that is awesome i love that um reminded me of fly y yeah yeah the loading for fly or even for bin journey i mean it's like a pretty quiet day here Today. we still waited 90 yeah. minutes we walked onto every other attraction here <laughs> and then waited an hour and a half for primordial and supposedly That's what here for supposedly everyone's been waiting at least two so we we got, got it. We yeah, technically we did get lucky. We wrote it twice in one day. Apparently, that's not very common. So in that regards, I'm very grateful I'm that we got at least two, despite all the challenges from this morning. I am glad that we didn't have to like schedule another trip to come back here like you know oh a gosh, ASAP because it wouldn't have opened today. So like, I'm glad that they turned it around from being literally valley. Good day at Lagoon. Yeah, it's fun. I like very productive. Park. I do. It's. Um, it's, it gives me like, I'm trying to think, I feel like it would fit in with like Palace. But they're also family owned, so they have their own quirks and things that they do different, mm -hmm. like from everyone else. Again, the thing that I always cite is that they have like no queue space, so all the lines are always out I've on the never pathways. I've seen anything like that. It's you crazy. said it's meant to make it look busier than it is. Yeah, th I think that's the <laughs> mentality is that they like the park feeling full, so oh, they put the car. lines we on the midway. It. Yeah, we're now like in the parking lot. Wow. <laughs> we were here really early, like before the park opened, now we're here after they close. I'm hungry, we're gonna go now. Yes, we're gonna go get some food. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.